I've got a rap prepared. Oh god. I need a clap beat. I'll do the beat, Mert, you do the clap. Oh clap. I will sort of clap, okay. You, you know that video? Have you ever seen that video of the um the the guy on the airplane who does a rap? No. Before No Ben, no. You must have done. Okay, right. Imagine you're on an airplane and the flight attendant is coming. Hold up. on, wait, 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 wait. I'm not I haven't got my seatbelt on and the seatbelt signs on. Can I just Give me a moment, please. Oh, the, 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 the table in front of me is down. Hold on. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> this is not safe seat, My seat is not upright. Hold on. Uh, this is your cabin speaker. We are about to take off for Malaga. Uh, thank you. To where? Malaga. Malibu. Malaga. Malaga. Isn't that please some, like, sure Spanish? Your, your is it... Fastened your seat out. Your table is upright and... Your chair is upright as well. Isn't Malaga some like Spanish party island? Yeah, no. it is. <laughs> no, really? it is. Malaga it's, is it's, a place in Spain, but it's not an island. It's a party island. Okay. It's a long thingy. Henry is, been... Henry is going to a party island. Okay. No. And imagine. No, what sort of clap am I doing? Like a. Can we just stop? <laughs> Malaga is not an island. I've been to Malaga. <laughs> there is a party island called Malaga something. I've seen Sunsex and Suspicious Terrorists. Yeah. Yeah, and they didn't go to Malaga. Party at Art and Money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I think we should get back to the plane. Are you plane. sure you're not thinking of Magaluf? Get back on the plane. Yeah, yeah, get yeah. Get yeah, back yeah, on the plane. Well, I'm back, guys. I was right. already on the plane. Right. What so sort of clap am I doing? Can you please turn your mobile phone off during the flight, please? It's okay, on flight mode, so it's sorry. fine. Sorry. Hold on, I, just, I need to turn the lights off a bit. No, Shut up. Fine. Air conditioning. How are, how are you controlling all these things on the plane? <laughs> no, no, no. You know you get that little reading light. Right, hold Which on. Which no one uses. Right, you're the worst passenger ever, but I'm going to ignore that. This is a hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. There's people on here. They've got guns. They've killed the, they've killed the marshal that's on here. What do I do? Bang, bang. Oh, God. Okay, you're getting held up, but I still need a beat. They've got a gun to my head. They're saying, "Give us a beat." It's <laughs> time to give you a beat, guys. I need, I need a clap, like a stomp, clap, stomp, clap, clap, clap. What? Can I have like a freestyle boom, solo boom, midway through? Boom, no, boom, no, you can't. Boom, 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 boom. Are you ready? Boom, Are you ready? Boom, 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 <laughs> One, two. Boom. Hi, my name's Ben, and I'm here to say we're gonna bring you a podcast today. We got Henry jamming on the trombone, Merrick Gig on the saxophone. We're known as Level One Bloggers collectively, but you can shorten that to L1B. We're the great escapers, the side of the hood. No, seriously, we're really quite good. Now gather around, kids, and listen to me. I'm the best rapper ever, White Cinnamon Tree. And if you didn't get that, because I'm rapping too fast, here is the Level One Bloggers. Boom! Boom. 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 Bravo. I didn't hear a word of what you said because I knew you it said would make me laugh. White so, cinnamon tree or something. Thank you. I, I slipped in the white sense. cinnamon tree. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> no. as, as soon as I heard Henry's playing the trombone, <laughs> I knew I'd start laughing, so I blocked <laughs> everything out. <laughs> Hi everybody, and I'm going to say... Great start. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's the Level 1 Podcast, your favourite weekly consistent podcast. Yay! Yay! Yay. When was our last then you one? Can, then you can play the, the intro music. It was like, was it three months ago since the Level 1 Podcast episode 1? I don't know. I think it was really? more than three months. Oh, it was, was before Christmas. So we haven't had a podcast in ages for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, me and Merrick have had exams. Important you, exams. Number two, Ben's had not so important exams. Yeah. Uh, number three, <laughs> Merrick's had Christmas. Um, irritable Christmas. bowel syndrome. So and that. Mm. He's been out for a while. How's that going? Uh, yeah. Not too good. Not too good. How did your exams but go? I'll survive. I've got 100% in everything. Yeah. Just leave it at that. So that that's really why we haven't done anything. <laughs> yeah. No podcast and the video and because of the videos I haven't been in. 
full swig. No, we haven't made uh, we haven't made like consistent videos in a while. Although we're gonna try and finish up the dragon challenge pretty soon. Yeah, and Minecraft <laughs> Part Two. Wait, because yeah. I know everyone's looking forward <laughs> to that one. Like <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um. Okay, and did you have a nice Christmas, everyone? Um. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was, it was alright. Got an iPhone. Full of provision. I, I didn't oh, get it. He's already phone. slipping in the I have an iPhone thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did I get? Christmas spirit. No, I got I got Mario Kart. Oh, Star Wars full collection on Blu-ray. We were going to watch that though, weren't we? And a big speaker thing for my iPod. I think we should watch it soon. Group watch session. I think I'm okay. It's 14 hours long. Speaking of Star Wars, I've noticed a question that's been sent in by um, Wood Henry <laughs> saying, so I assume you're all going to see Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace in 3D on February 9th. Because if you don't, you're a massive noob. Merrick, what's your take on that question? <laughs> I'm, I think I'm busy that day. <laughs> no, I don't think Every other day. Why don't you want to see it, Merrick? Oh, it looks so boring. I don't Why? know how anyone can watch it. It's like three hours long. You haven't even seen the trailer. It's not three hours long. I've played the game, which is enough for me. Star Wars <laughs> Smash 1 2 is not an accurate representation <laughs> of Star Wars Episode 1. I'm never going to watch it, ever. <laughs> in my whole will, life. I will no. force you to watch it. It has pod racing no. in. It's a bit like yeah, GTA, no. which you're so addicted yeah. to on your iPhone. And, yeah. and um, Temple Run. I believe there's a bit of that in it. <laughs> right. Merrick hasn't okay. actually seen any Star Wars ever. No. Or Lord of the Rings. Where it should be. Or Terminator. Or any superhero film ever. Is but it... I have seen Gridiron Gang, which is the world's or... greatest film. No. I've never if you haven't seen it, I'd go watch it right now. Stop do listening not, to this. Do not. And watch. go watch it. Did you just say stop listening to this? Yeah, that just is a stop bad listening. Move. Merrick, just go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what did you get for Christmas, Ben? Um, I got a chair. That is all. Fancy, fancy. Just a, it's like right, right. a wooden a chair of, for sitting in. A couple of um years ago, our friend Hugh, for, for his birthday, got a mattress. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was his entire list of presents. A mattress. Was it what? Just a normal mattress? Just a normal sounds, mattress. He sounds like a person who would just live in he a house. He sounds like a person that's, that's house. That house. Oh god. He sounds it got like flooded. a person. Yeah, his house got flooded. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> you were just mean people. <laughs> but it was so funny. <laughs> oh god. So, Merrick, I uh, heard you uh, wipe your ass standing up. <laughs> yeah. What is with that, Merrick? <laughs> Most people in right. the world do that. Right. Okay. This talk is about fecal matter, <laughs> so if you don't like that talk, please don't hesitate to skip the next five minutes of this podcast. Basically, on right. on, on yeah, Facebook, on. there was like a, a poll, like in our kind of circle of friends, wasn't there? About if you went right, this is for guys. When you go to the toilet, do you wipe your ass? I think it's, it's applicable to it's girls, for girls as well, as well man. man. I don't think girls <laughs> they go to the loo retain well. their. <laughs> when you go to the toilet, do you wipe your ass sitting down or standing up? Now, right. personally, yeah. I am a sitter. Yeah, I, I'm a sitter as well. And I'm a stander and proud. Right. <laughs> I had never even heard of someone standing up no, and wiping their ass. I, <laughs> I didn't think anyone to... sat down. Right. The other day, I <laughs> tested the stand. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> I also did the same. I stood up and felt things mushed together. <laughs> but Mary, what I don't get is when you stand, surely you're just like, surely your cheeks are closed. Exactly. You, you don't. They're not. Do they're not. They're not stretched like with the sitting. sitting. Can't work. Your with hands will get stuck. No, the it, seat. it doesn't. With, no. with the sitting, you're bent over a bit, so you have a large <laughs> stretch region with good curvature. <laughs> For the arc motion. You also you also have to aim for the toilet when you're standing up. Yeah. How do you aim? You got, you got a longer Rather distance to throw. <laughs> That's hardly a huge do challenge. <laughs> I don't see how you can pose standing up. I don't pose standing up. <laughs> it's pretty much the same. 
<laughs> you pretty <laughs> much are. <laughs> what if a bit drops off? What do you do? That then? has never ever happened. But what if it will in the future? Then you clean it up. Merrick, Merrick, <laughs> Merrick, why would you want to stand up if you're already sitting down? Exactly. Do you think just exercise oh, yeah, and get a bit of exercise and get up a bit? Yes. There's perfect <laughs> room to have a, to wipe. Yeah. When you're not, sat down. Not on my toilet though, is not There is, Merrick. All toilets are the same size. Mine quite it can't be. It just wouldn't work. You haven't tried it. I was thinking of trying it a few days ago, but I didn't. <laughs> right, try it later. I I'm good. I don't see how you can stand up. Did it, did what? someone wait? Do you reckon like your family has always that everyone in your family, like your ancestors, has been a stander? And they. No, passed, I asked them today. It's passed, a fifty-fifty split. What in the gig household? <laughs> it is. Uh, who's, who, who are sitters? My sister and my mum. You asked your mum. <laughs> Weird. Oh. I don't see. So, yeah, right. So, if they can sit, Mary, how is it impossible for you to <laughs> <Yeah>. sit? <laughs> don't know. Honestly, I would say 80% stand. No, they don't. No, I really, I really we'll leave it. We'll leave it to the podcast viewers. But what I don't get, right? Right? You know when you, you're, you're doing your business? Yeah. And sometimes. It goes down, and suddenly you feel toilet water splash up. Yeah. Yes. Now, when you stand <laughs> up, that water will have absorbed some poo. So it's poo juice at this point. You stand up, gravity takes effect. It slides down your legs into your trousers or whatnot. That's the risk you've got to take. <laughs> no, you don't have to take it. When you sit down, it drips back down into the toilet. No risk. <laughs> it's perfectly fine sitting down. It's so, I'd say it's the most efficient way. It's so <laughs> weird standing up. I, when I did it, the other day, I didn't get what I was doing. <laughs> I was when I was doing it, I was like, "Why am I standing up to do this? I w- I'm going to have to return to the toilet to replace toilet paper back in there. So why don't I just stay there?" God. Who taught you to do this, mate? I just thought I did. <laughs> did your down. dad sit you down? No, I mean stand you up and say, <laughs> "Now we wipe." No, son. <laughs> I have no idea. God, you've been tainted. It's bad. It's very bad. So please let us know. Yeah, if if you're a sitter or a stander, that'd be yeah quite interesting. That'd be good. Good to know. Face. I reckon it's just gonna be a clean fifty-fifty split. Because people, people be people who have stood all their life will just think that sitting is really weird. Okay, Ben, I'm gonna stop you right there. I don't think there's anyone that stood all their life. There'll be some people. No, like Africans. They they don't. The first sit time. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What did you just say? Mary? Africans. Could you stop being so racist on this one? <laughs> no, they don't. They squat. They they always stand. <laughs> Right, 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 no, no. The only time it's acceptable to um, stand is then when you go to like Indonesia or something, and instead of toilets, there are squatters, yeah. where it's just like a pit in the ground. Right. I've never. And you have, one. you pretty much have to stand there. What, like in a uh, Slumdog Millionaire, where the guy falls in all the poop? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. You have, you pretty much have to stand there. Okay. Or you, or you risk the fall in the toilet. What? So Merrick is of an Indian origin. Is that what you're trying I said, to say? I said into, yeah, 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 sure, sure. Let's just go with that. So, in March, I think it's March, I'm going to Colorado to go skiing. Or snowboarding. Where is that? I don't that? know yet. Where is that? Have you found out? America. Ben, do you not know where Colorado is? I, sh- I was assuming it's in, is it in Canada? Didn't I say? Oh my. Ben, oh. you're worse than me at geography and I am terrible at geography. Ben, Colorado. Didn't you do geography? ben, you did geography. Colora- yeah, but in geography, you don't go around learning countries. You don't? It sounds like a lie to me, that. Yeah. You, did you not do geography? None of you. I did it in year 7 and 8. Up to year 9. I built a volcano, that's pretty much all I did. No, your mum built a volcano and you claimed all the credit for it. <laughs> you literally don't do anything. Same thing. You don't do anything to do with countries. I know, but still, Ben, it's general. There's a map in the room at all times. Anyway, I'm going to Winter Park. 
And, um, well, we're trying to f- find some people to go snowboarding so we can try it at the moment. But we come to the big debate, which is skiing versus snowboarding. Oh, I know. You but- thought standing versus sitting was big. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for this. So, personally, I'm a skier, and I've always been a skier. But I'm, all- I'm-, I'm ready to try snowboarding if the opportunity presents itself. I don't think you're cool enough. But I think... What did you just say? You've got a... You're talking to Deetja. <laughs> you remember that. But anyway, skiing is clearly the better of the two. Because there's more control. There's not. Wow. It's that's fun. A, that's great. It's fun. <laughs> Snowboarding's it's funner. fun, fun, fun. But you look really gay. I'm with Ben on that one. You don't you look, look gay. You seriously gay. Ski. If I saw a person <laughs> on a ski, on some skis, on a ski, on some skis... <laughs> I just said that about four times. If I saw someone on some skis and then someone on a snowboard, five now. I would instantly think the snowboarder is way cooler. Yeah. Don't you think? Well, okay, what if it's Brad Pitt skiing versus Boogie on a snowboard? Who's Boogie? Boogie. Oh, the massive fat guy. <laughs> yeah, the massive fat guy. What? <laughs> I would still think he's pretty cool. That would look pretty cool if he's really fat and he's snowboarding. Oh, sorry, I just sniffled. Apologies, everyone. It's really mean, really Henry. Cold. Just because yeah, you're but... fat. Oh, God. My, my secret. <laughs> no, but basically, skiing is so much better. You've never tried snowboarding. Ben, I, me and Ben are the only ones here who have tried both. And I can, no, yeah. but I'm saying, I can safely yeah, say very... snowboarding is much, uh, no, much right. better. Merrick's like saying that because he, those skiers out there will probably those enjoy hearing there. this. Merrick couldn't do the snowplow, which is the easiest it's not, thing in the world. It couldn't be done. It's, it's so easy. I think my skis are broken. It's the only possible solution. No, I think you're gliding across the top of the snow. Not. I was trying so hard, nothing now. happened. <laughs> I had to walk down a green one. It was that bad. Last time I went skiing, I broke my ski. One ski on some moguls, and that was halfway up a mountain. Oh. That was not fun. No. Nah. The ski yeah. literally you snapped in half. You get to play the fun half. game of one foot skiing. What? Yeah. Which is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've that... never broken a ski or anything. I've always been so careful on skis. Apparently, I'm I'm a natural skier. The first time I went, I was going down black runs. So there oh, we go. Whoopie Icy to do. Black runs. Icy oh, black. Wow. Was there like a polar bear on there or something? I was in Austria. Have you ever heard of a polar bear? Being in Austria. Oh, I have. <laughs> Just more more info that my geography skills are lacking. <laughs> Speaking of academic skills, can I uh, read out something I saw earlier that I told Merrick about? Go for it. All right, hold on. I've got to find it first. You you talk amongst yourselves. Oh, I just remembered something that we. We also need to show Merrick that's been going on for a while. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that in a minute. Right, I completely right. so, forgot about it. Kay. Okay, I've lost the question. But anyway, the mass question pretty much was... Um, oh, right. Yeah. It had a question, and then the answer... Like, they added the information. I got the answer, minus 10, plus 2. Right? <laughs> the answer in the book... It says two minus ten. <laughs> Why am I wrong? What? <laughs> Basically, it was two numbers. The set, the pretty much the same thing, but the the other way around. And they didn't get why they were wrong. When the who did just put it the other way around? Who didn't get it? Some random guy on your who answers. Oh my god! I don't get how people can be so stupid. I was once like that. And there's my little maths segment. Henry's math segment. So yeah, Merritt, I just wrote... About, about like, oh, what, ages ago, we signed you up for a uh, dating website. Oh, thank you. <laughs> geek to geek. No, it's gk to gk. Yeah, to make it sound even cooler. Hang on, I'm just logging you in. I've got thousands of requests, I hope, yeah. Right, I've... I made... Right, I'll, I'll just tell mine story Ben while you're doing this right I made an account which um well basically it was like a, a really hot girl and um I don't know if I just go to my profile <laughs> when did you do this um right 
<laughs> like right. before Christmas. It's a it's a really hot girl, right? And it's it says Wow is for the win. Watch out world. I called her Scarlet. Scarlet's here to kick some zombie ass, right? From New York. Student. Couple of Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Star Trek, all games. Pretty much a massive nerd. Right? Yeah. Now I with this got no messages. And no winks, which is pretty, pretty, a wink is like when you go, oh, I'm interested in you. But guess who did? <laughs> <laughs> I was just reading the tagline I put. Do you want to read it out, Merrick? Cause I don't even see it. Oh, I'm loading it up now. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I forgot you called it that. <laughs> Do you want to read out your username? Sure, as soon as it loads. <laughs> the Mikester. <laughs> <laughs> Internet star by day, ladies man by night. <laughs> you put my real picture. <laughs> we use this real picture in this. <laughs> oh my god. Do you want to read out some of the information? Wait. Books, The Betrayal of Falador. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter is my movies. Video games, Club Penguin. That is a great game. Wow, RuneScape. Classic 80s music. <laughs> I'm a sucker to any classics 80s music. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Merck. Look, you got I go to New yeah, Zealand. Man. Bungee jump off tall buildings. Go karting. Chemistry. <laughs> wow. RuneScape. Eight ball pool. Manufacturing scanners. <laughs> when, I, when, I fini- when I finish university, I wish to continue my father's line of work. Manufacturing scanners. You've had a lot of uh, experience with <laughs> Now, the it. next line is my favourite. I'm a passionate Do lover. Read- in and out of the bedroom. <laughs> I love role playing, both during and not during sexual <laughs> activities. My lady friends call me the warlord of the night. The <laughs> <laughs> warlord of the night. <laughs> oh my god. Did I get lost? Anyway, anyway, jokes aside, I'm a nice, kind, look, good looking guy searching for that special someone to have a good time with. And now, maybe more. Dun dun dun. Now, and Merrick, you got a wink from someone. Do you want to meet your new partner? I would love to. Who did he get a wink from? <clears throat> her username is Texting and Scones. Uh, shall oh. I read her thing? Go for it. Does she have a picture? Oh dear lord, it's bloody long. Yes, but you can't really you see can her. You can summarise it up. Just sum- yeah, sum it up in one off. line. I can sum it up. She looks fat, and her <laughs> and her description says slim. <laughs> uh, she's a big fan of Star Wars, Merrick. So oh god, that's a definite woman. no right there. Okay, my two main interests, obsessions, that is, in life, are Harry Potter and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She also cares a lot about politics, so bear that in mind. Okay, <laughs> Buffy means a lot to her. It makes her proud to be a woman. Um, oh she's a massive God. Zelda and Nintendo freak. Oh, Ben, she's, she's <laughs> the woman for you. She was the school's librarian. Um, she read Lord of the Rings when she was nine. Uh, I've yeah. thought of something I can add to the... I, don't know. I think that's it. Uh, do you want to hear what her perfect match is? Merrick <laughs> <Yeah>. Gig. <laughs> She says, gender is not a barrier for me. <laughs> Love transcends in all differences. Um, um, so I got one reply, basically. No, it's a wink. A one wink. Did you just get the one wink? <laughs> no, the funny thing is, quite a lot of your matches, like, it suggests you matches. Yeah. Um, I think about 80% of them were male. <laughs> all of mine on my one are female. And I made a female. Oh my god. Who's this undefined person? Is this my match? The one you just linked? <laughs> no, yeah, that's a match for you. <laughs> just the <a> guy. <laughs> Did he only get one wink, Ben? Yeah, that's it. You sure? Mm-hmm. You're one loved. Do you want to see my profile? Right? I, I think we you. should take it further, and we should, like, arrange you to meet up with someone. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> We're meeting <laughs> random <laughs> strangers. One, <laughs> do you know what? Do you nice, know what this Henry. reminded me of, Henry? Did we... you, wait, did you see? Can you see that, Merrick? How how would that not get any wings? I don't know. 
I know exactly. Wow, look maybe at it was a little too fake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, what were you saying, Ben? This reminded me of the time when we got an email from someone who was blatantly trying to scam us. You know, remember? I've had a few of them in my time. Magrit, and we took that. Oh, yeah! We took this ridiculously too far. I think basically it was a. Um, it's it like, like a, an African. An African bank woman, like, detail. trying to buy her way out of the country. But um, I think it was fake. Hey? I think it was fake. When was this? Yeah. <laughs> no, she's, oh, she's like. She was like the. She had inherited like a hundred million pounds or something like that. Yep. And if we married her, then we would get her. No, money. no, 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 no. We needed to give our bank to her <laughs> so that she could transfer the money to our account, so we could transfer it back to her UK account. Do you want to hear Henry's response? He also included a picture. He said, "Hi there, Magrid." Magret, above is a picture of myself photographed by a professional in front of one of my estates. Yeah, it was like a... <laughs> the picture is of a guy with his hand on his chin looking really smug outside a massive mansion. He, he looks like... Really... <laughs> He's really rich. Last night was enjoyable, but spent alone. All I had was me and my wealth. <laughs> I enjoy speedboating, flying my private jet, and skydiving. <laughs> I thought it was the perfect answer. <laughs> I also like dishonesty. I also dislike dishonesty and unfaithfulness. But unfortunately, I am currently single. <laughs> it is so sad to hear about your parents. I wish there was something I could do. Thanks again. I thought that was the hook, line, and sinker, that final line. And she kept on saying these really weird pictures of like some oh, yeah, model yeah. on then, the internet. Then in came the referent. <laughs> <laughs> the reverend guy, yeah <laughs> she was like she kept supplying this phone number right oh and yeah like, please please bring the reverend for me because I f- i've forgotten why what was the reason again then she was she like gave us a phone number and we had to phone the reverend so we could basically she said she was like in a camp i think yeah. and we had she was giving us the number to the reverend's office which is like the church in the camp so we could ring the reverend and she could go and ask he could go and ask for like her to come and speak to us so we could give her our bank details yeah and (laughs) after i don't know it was about a month of like talking to her kind of stalling i would say (laughs) yeah we stalled quite a lot and no actually we did give her some bank details <laughs> what i think we gave i don't think they were real ones. fake ones <laughs> right yeah. i'm trying to find the final i don't think it's appropriate for the podcast <laughs> oh, wait was it <laughs> did i make say something like really offensive yeah <laughs> he's like my right she said my dearest i'm worried for your silence and i wonder why you don't write me mails or call me through the reverend office phone <laughs> To tell me how things are moving with you in your country. And I hope all is well with you. She's really bad at English, by the way. Please, my dear, I would like to know if you have contacted the bank? Question mark. Please try and do so if you haven't. Oh, if yeah, yeah. I was that, like, she was like, have the bank said it's okay? And I was like, yeah, 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 they did. <laughs> it's they cool. said it's okay. <laughs> oh, God. And then, after after not replying her to her for a long time, her sending us loads of emails. This is what Henry said. Now get ready to hear some bleep. <laughs> I simply don't like blacks. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clarify. <laughs> what I said there doesn't transpire <laughs> to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> I have no problem with that. And there's the story of when we got harassed by an African woman. Was that your one line response, Henry? Just that? That's all it said. <laughs> if you were offended by this, I, I apologise. <laughs> I like them. I think they're actually quite cool. Yeah. Like when you see an old black guy, he's much cooler than an old white guy. Yeah, that's because you, like, associate him with uh, Morgan Freeman. I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's just you, Do not. No. <laughs> hey. I think what you said there was actually more racist. <laughs> right, we need to move on. <laughs> okay. 
Oh. I can't even remember what started that. It was skiing versus snowboarding. We didn't even settle the debate. Oh, yeah, we agreed that snowboarding is better than skiing. No, no, yeah, skiing. Okay, there we go. 2v1 majority no. vote. Boom. Oh, moving on. Blast. Foiled again. <laughs> okay, right. It's funny news time. No, it's it not. Is. It is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It is. 2v1 majority vote. Okay, but I have one last important topic that I've added myself. Great. Okay. Right. Quick question to the audience now. Say you have the word woman, right? That's the god. singular. Oh god, I don't know this again. Like where this is. Oh, right. Right? I, know I know where this, this is. So, when you have the plural word of a woman, it is clearly women. No, it's not. Is it not? <laughs> it it's is. Woman, it's just woman. It's not. No one says. Why would you add the same? Why would you use the same word twice? Why do you add eyes in to woman to make it women? Because you do. No, ben, how do you say it? That's like saying, why don't you pronounce the G in strength? Because that'd be weird. Just I'd... like if you don't pronounce it women, it's weird. I don't want to get involved. No one says women. Women. I don't like it Everyone when they fight. Everyone says women. Please let us know in the comments or something. What? Well, okay. No comments. So we've got Just sitting or anywhere. standing, skiing or snowboarding, women or women. Yeah. Wow. Okay then. All right. There we go. Funny news. Ha ha ha. Ladies and. Gentlemen, it's time for Funny News! <laughs> 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 All right. All right, let's get started. You know this school. You can start if you want, Merrick. I started last time, I think. I'll start again. Right, so my news is the... Uh, Internet craze of cat breading. Tell me what? basically <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> When you get a piece of bread you cut a hole in the middle and you put your cat's head in it <laughs> Picture I'm, I'm gonna look at some pictures of it now. I am yet to try this with my own cat Doesn't look particularly fun. What's the point of this? But, to be honest, Ben, I don't know. Is it the same? Is it kind of, <laughs> is it kind of like planking? Sorry, well, I sniffled there. I've, Not really. I'll put a link to this news story in the uh, description. Or oh. I'll link it to you now. There's loads of cats. Link me. Oh, oh my no. god. Link me. <laughs> Someone made a pun. It was like, this is an inbred cat. Wow. <laughs> oh, they look so they look so unhappy. They don't look too happy, do they? Oh, there's a dog one. Yeah. The dog is a baby Cute. one. What, do they just leave the shop. piece of bread stuck over its head? So they can <laughs> walk around. And then they take a pic no, they take a picture and then I think they take it off. I think. You don't know that though. No. Aww. Right, well that was great. That's pretty much the funny news of the uh, week. Okay. I think well, my headline I, that I have the greatest headline <coughs> in the world. Go for it. Chinese billionaire dies in poison cat meat murder plot. What? Chinese billionaire dies in yeah, poison I got that, cat meat. But I mean, I mean, what? As in, like, continuing with the cat theme. A Chinese billionaire is dead after apparently ingesting some slow-boiled cat meat stew. Though it wasn't the cat meat that killed him. <gasps> dun dun dun. Police in southern China have detained a local official on suspicion of poisoning the stew at the restaurant where the two were eating in Gudadadong Dong Dong province on December 23rd. That was a little racist, let's be honest. Just a little. <laughs> this podcast is very bad. Agriculture officer Huang Guang. You just made Guang. another racist comment. <laughs> Huang Guang, billionaire Long Lian, and a third diner were sharing a cat meat hot pot, a local delicacy, when a Huang allegedly dropped some toxic herbs into the stew. Long, he ran a. <laughs> Better not to be car better not spill these toxic herbs. <laughs> this <laughs> is stew. Whoa! Whoopsie! 
Long, who rang a forestry company, was taken to the hospital after feeling dizzy and sick and later suffered a cardiac arrest. Well, the great. end. Now, it was, it was a lovely story. It was. Now, I did have some weird prostitute story, but that has now been changed to uh, something I found on the main news website. And the title is, you can probably guess what it's related to. Thief stole virtual amulet from Gamer. That's right. Same. We've got a RuneScape story <laughs> really? in the main news. Are you being serious? This can only be good. A, a Dutch man's theft conviction for stealing a virtual amulet and mask from a schoolboy who won them in a computer game has been upheld. His 13-year-old victim was beaten up and threatened with a knife to persuade him to part with the items he won playing online fantasy game RuneScape. <gasps> right. The man, whose name was not made public, but who was born in 1992... Zezima! <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> ...was ordered to perform 144... Blah, 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 blah. No. Does it say what items the, he tried to steal? No, the defendant's lot. It's got a picture of like a massive noob, though, like in Lumbridge. <laughs> <laughs> the defendant's lawyer had argued that the, the amulet and mask were neither tangible nor material, and unlike, for example, electricity, had no economic value. <gasps> um. Okay, hold on. The court heard the man had an accomplice beat and kicked the boy and threatened him with a knife until he logged onto RuneScape and dropped the objects. What the? <laughs> One of the thieves, was, who was also playing the game, was then able to pick up the items, making them his virtual property. There we go. And that's the story. What, so who's... Wait, so this, this thief, like, kind of found him in the street? And coincidentally... No, it was no, in his no, no, he must have IP tracked him. I... Something. What? No, no, he wouldn't do that. I'm imagining. How would you know who it was then? I don't know. Maybe this guy is school or something. I'm imagining a little boy in the street and then some old man coming up to him and saying, do you, "Give me your RuneScape." Do you stuff. play RuneScape? Because <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> yes. And then just beating him to the ground. Nice. And then what? Well, so he took him to his house and made him log in. That is, that is weird. Yep. That is pretty weird. And they went to court. Mm. Yeah, they have to do 144 hours of community service. It's worth it for like a Halloween. Or you can say like 144 hours of roots game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You must complete Wild Gothic Sleeps. <laughs> no! Oh you must make up the value of the money you stole by. <laughs> By chopping down trees. <laughs> without botting, without botting. <laughs> okay, so that was the funny news. That was. Time for your joke, Henry. <laughs> Time for my joke. Giggity, 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 giggity. Giggity, Stop me when you want to. Joke. The joke for this. I've got two jokes this week. I said this week. I mean this three-month period. Yeah. Right. Um. Okay. So the first one is. Um, okay, I'll try and find a short one on this page. Right. A blind man walks into a store with his... I'm, I'm going to warn you now, this joke is awful. <laughs> a blind man walks into a store with his seeing eye dog. All of a sudden, he picks up the leash and begins swinging the dog over his head. The manager runs up to the man and asks, What are you doing? The blind man replies, Just looking around. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. No, that, was, that was really bad. <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> right, here's my second one. Right, so a snail walks into a bar. Right, they don't really walk. Okay, a snail <laughs> slimes slimes into a bar. <laughs> the barman says, "Sorry, we don't serve snails," and throws the snail out. Three weeks later, the snail returns into the bar and says, "What'd you do that for?" 
<laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I didn't get it at first, but it's because he's a snail. <laughs> it took a while. It's because he's a snail and he moves slowly. Yeah, yeah. Oh! That was, oh, wow. God. That was a, that took all the funnies out of me. <laughs> Can I just add that Merrick didn't know what a gold digger was the other day? Gold that's, digger. That's my little fact. Isn't that like a uh, kind of sort of like bot on RuneScape? The botting program? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I don't even know what it is. I'm going to Google it. I was joking. I know what a gold digger is. Merrick is a gold digger. Definitely. I don't understand how you don't know what it is, Merrick. I don't learn slang like you do. It's not really <laughs> slang. I'd say it's a person who dates others purely to extract money from them. That's you. Am I correct? That's you, Mary. Yes, you are correct. And that was it. That was a little joke. Not joke. That was a fact. Sorry. Why is that related to your snail thing? Because I mean, well, snails. Me. Right, I've thought about <laughs> oh, this. God. Snails begin with the letter S, right? And if you turn an S on the su- on its side, it doesn't look like an S anymore. Do you know what else doesn't look like an S? A sheep. Now, a sheep has wool, and wool is a four-letter word. Another four-letter word is poop. Poop has two O's and two P's. Some say you could sum it up to O-P. Overpowered is a word used. Now, a word is also a four-letter word, coincidentally. And another four-letter word is um, dish. Now, if you replace the H with a P, and you place the D with an L, you get lisp. Now, so I know someone with a list called George. Now, this person called George has a twin. Twin, a four-letter word. <laughs> and um, another four-letter word is gold. <laughs> wow. Coming on to gold it. digger. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And that's how you make the link. I was wondering. I saw that coming from a mile away. I was like, when so is he going to do it? <laughs> Right. Okay. Now we're done with that. I think it's time for Merrick's. It's, it's time for the question. Merrick's it's a new really... segment. We got a new segment. You've been asking for it, and we have supplied. I haven't seen anyone ask for it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> we're supplying it anyway. <laughs> the super hard Broodscape question. And I've forgotten my question. No, I found it. Again. Apparently, I might be able to get this. I Merrick think says. you know this, but I don't know why you will. Listeners at home, are you ready? Get your pen and paper. Ready. Is it first one to get it, or do we just? Uh, right. You can both say an answer. Closest one wins. Okay. No. Right. What if I? What if I base my answer off Ben's? What if Ben bases? You got to say them at the same time. Write your right. answer. What if we both type it? Yeah. Okay. And then we. Right, okay. Ready? And then on one, you like put it in. Okay. Okay. How many spinning wheels are there in free-to-play RuneScape? Um. Oh dear lord. I had no idea. Oh, miles off. Okay. You ready with the answers? Hold on. Um. Oh, Ben's got rid of his answer. Oh no. Oh god, this is so hard. Some could say it's a super hard RuneScape question. I think... Oh, I think no. I'm, I think I'm right. No, no, oh dear. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely right. Wait, oh wait, no. Oh, could it be? Oh, it might be something else. I, either way, I'm pretty close, I feel. Ben, are you good with your answer? Oh. You ready? Oh. Da, oh, uh, da. Yes, yes I am. Okay, on one, put your answers in the okay. in the scope cool. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. I think it might be. We've both oh, think... we've both gone for one. Yeah, there's so one we're... in Lumbridge, but I wasn't sure if there's one in Barbarian Village as well. But I think and I think it's just one. And Ben, where do you think yours was? Are you just going for the Lumbridge? I went one? for the Lumbridge one. Yeah. Well, the correct answer was four. Oh, so what? You were both quite a bit. Old. We're both a winner. There was... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How did you do at home? Tell us in the comments. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought it was just Lumbridge. There's one in Lumbridge. There's one in the Barbarian Village. I said, oh, I knew it. Where? Yeah, but there's. And there's one oh, in Al Karid, no, isn't there? Nah. There's one in South Falador, apparently. There's also one in the Crafting Guild. Oh yeah. Well, you oh. sort of forgot about that one. That's the one I thought about. Oh damn. Well, we both won anyway. 
So, <laughs> congratulations, Ben. High five! Woo! Sorry. How do we do that? Oh, I thought of a, a genius invention. You know when you get, like, oven... Do, do you have oven, this, like, oven thing? Where it's, like... An oven. A long, like, strip. And then there's little folds at the ends. So you stick your hands in. So it's like a band that's an oven glove. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if you stick your hand in one of the folds and whip your hand, you can high-five it. I've always wanted to do that, so... <laughs> Thanks for telling me. You have You'll a, never left. You have a sad, You'll never be sad left life. hanging. <laughs> You'll never be left hanging again. <laughs> right. Well, that was great. I look forward to the next podcast question. Speaking of questions, however... It's time for the questions. Woo, questions! You've been sending in your questions in the masses, quite <laughs> literally the tens. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've we've select. How many are we doing? Uh, we got four to do. Three. I even. think three. Three. I think we should read out the first one. And no, people no, no, will no, know no, no, what no, kind of no. messages we it's, get. It's a lie. Yeah, it's a people, lie. So people yeah. will understand what messages we get. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we should skip it. This is question segment. It's got a question at the end. Can you make a dungeoneering video? I'll answer that right now. No. I think we should. We should. Ever. I hate dungeon room. It's so boring. You've never done it. Oh yeah, but I have you're like level right. four, aren't you? Hey, uh, I yeah, hope you listen to seven. this. I am no, your no, biggest fan. No, no, right. So we, I'm gonna start. <laughs> Moving on to question two. two. Yeah, question two. Right. If there was a zombie apocalypse, what weapon would each of you use? I'm doing the smiley face. Uh, on the, who is that on from? The who is well. that from? That was from. R.I.P. Merico. Oh, used yeah. to be Muck Talk. Yeah. Thank you for your question. See, oh, no, Merrick, I remember. there we go. Merrick, there's a great example of someone calling you Merrico. Yeah. I don't know who calls me Merrico. Literally um, everyone calls you Merrico. Can't I'm remember just... who started it. Merrico. Merrico. Um, um, I haven't even thought about this. Um, I was thinking more along right. the lines of, what was that question I found earlier? You keep going, you answer it. What would you do? I'm trying, to think of a, I'm trying to think of a weapon. Um, I would use a bronze sorry. dagger. Oh, it was it was TV shows. That was the other one. And pretend I'm playing RuneScape. A bronze dagger. <laughs> yes. I would go for a golf club. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Swing. Okay. I would use a. Huh? Is that what you're this? It would have to have something without ammo. Or it didn't need anything, so not a chainsaw, not a gun. Um, a bomb might come in handy. No, you can only use it once, mate. I'd say, um, four. I think it would have to be some sort of sword. I think that's the wow. only. Wow! Wow! Real original, Henry. <laughs> well, if you use the mace, it would be way too slow. Um, you could use some of those nunchucks thing, N nunchucks. You know, like how you mean a flail? No, nunchucks, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle nunchucks. Why would you use nunchucks? That's like using a stick. <laughs> I swear, they're, they're like the most ineffective weapons ever. Just... I know one of them does use a stick. <laughs> what are they? Hang on, I'm just gonna look this up. They have a stick. Oh, no, I'd use a pole arm. Why? The zombies would never get close to you. You see, I, on my... Oh, no, no, lightsaber, lightsaber, that's it. You lightsaber. can't take a lightsaber. Darth Maul's lightsaber. I, I was answer. told that long sticks are apparently good at, like, defending yourself on this. Yeah, that's where a pole arm would Someone help. told me that if you ever go to a place with a bear, then you've got to make yourself a long, pointy stick. <laughs> I can make I one of that. them, just looking at... Uh, sorry, what was that? <laughs> it's an awful joke. That's some sort of that. erection joke that I missed. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, no, I was going to say looking at a tree, because then I can pick out the correct <laughs> size uh, twig. Okay. That's use. fine then. So, Henry would go for a lightsaber, I would go for a bronze dagger. Jewel, jewel, jewel edged lightsaber. Oh, and Merrick would go for a golf club. Slash machete sort of thing. Okay, good Zombie question. Zombie apocalypse. Good question. 
Right. Who wants to ask? <sighs> um, how did you come up with the name Deetcher, Ben's Eggs, and Mikey6743 from Jabster9000? Now, we're not sure if we've answered this before, so we're going to I'm pretty it. sure we have. I mean, we've done so it. many episodes, it's hard to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to answer it anyway. Uh, who wants to get the ball rolling? Well, I think I have the most interesting story. No. Nah, just gonna, nah. just gonna say. Actually, it is a long story. Do you want to say it then, or do you want to? Yeah. Just, <laughs> do you want to just say it's an interesting no, story? No, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna say. I don't think anybody should know. I think it should be a secret. On why I'm called Ben's Eggs. I think most people do know, but anyway. I know. Merrick, what? I know. My Merrick name. Have God, it took me it took me a long time to think of my name. It's so good to get uh, names on mine. You don't even know why you called it Mikey, do you? <laughs> no. No, you <yeah, laughs> <really. laughs> no. There is a reason I called mine Deetcher, though. Um, which I don't really understand. Here's why. So, I used to live in... 2004, I lived in Australia for a year. And I played RuneScape with my friends. No. And, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Well, I had an account, right? And I, I can't I can't remember for the life of me what it was called, but anyway, um, on when I came back from Australia, I came back on a cruise across the world, Woo. and um, there was this girl called Hi Deetcher on it, on the cruise. Girl, I thought it was an old man, like an old, like red Indian dude with a long beard. No, there was a girl <laughs> called Hi Deetcher. That's, that's what right? I imagined it to be. And she <laughs> she lived in Devon. Henry, right. you must make Rootscape character <laughs> called Teacher. <laughs> it didn't go quite like that. But anyway, I really liked her. We were, we were quite good friends. And, um, well, when I got back, Merrick suggested we start playing Rootscape. So I was like, all right, I've got an account. Well, you didn't even know Merrick then. No, yeah, I, you sta- did. I started getting in year seven. <clears throat> okay. Right? Yeah. And then, no, this is the weird thing, right? So I met her on the cruise back from Australia, and I already have my account in Australia, right? So how come when I logged to my account when, in year seven, it was called Deetcher? You must have made a new account. No, but I didn't. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> they don't just change I think you randomly. must have created this person, like, in your mind. I didn't. Also, <clears throat> wasn't your Australian account your, like, level 100 and something, or whatever you said it was? No, I think I thought you it was. was level 100. But I think it was more level 3. I think, <laughs> I think that's the extent of the truth with that I one. think you fell, you fell so in love with RuneScape that you made, you created a woman to fall in love with in real life. De- definitely. 100%. It's common for people who high-five themselves with other myths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When I was on the cruise, though, someone died. I remember that. Wow, way to lower the story. <laughs> and um, it was a good cruise, except the other. I think it was like six months ago. Everyone on it got like a bad disease and almost died. It says that sounds and like also, a great cruise company. Final story. With, oh no, there's a few stories on the front channel. But anyway, we'll go into them next time if if you want. But um, I remember this one time. The sea was really rough. When I say really rough, I mean incredibly rough. And um, we were in this like main hall, and we, me and my sister were walking through it, and the chairs were just flying across the room because it, it, the the boat was like tilting so much. And me and me and my sister were falling about everywhere. Everything was going everywhere. It was ridiculous. <laughs> was everyone like throwing up around you? No. <laughs> 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 just chairs and vomit just flying around the room. <laughs> slow mo vomit coming towards your face. <laughs> Not quite. I remember there was a, there was a, like French like entertainment and they were like twenty in their late twenties. I remember because the they always used to, like kiss people when um you said hi to them. So I I I kissed quite a lot of French girls on that cruise I'm not going to lie pedo <laughs> no I think they were the pedo <laughs> I was I was so young and I, I was kissing all of them oh, the French oh. Oh, yeah. so what was the point of the boat rocking part yeah how do we get onto this I can't even remember <laughs> I just thought it was quite interesting alright <laughs> I hope they are linked not quite so anyway time for the f- oh wait you don't okay right 
The final question is about right. This one comes from. We're we gonna go do this one. I don't even have from, a question there. I know Alfie Dutton, who said, "What are your favourite TV shows?" Level so one vloggers on the YouTubes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you want to kick us off with some serious answers, Ben? Um. Um. Recently, I watched. Well, not recently. I watched The Big Bang Theory. Like I yeah. chain watched every single episode of that. Um, I started watching The Simpsons again. I find that really funny for some reason. I've, yeah, I've, so have I. I've, recently, every every like episode I watch, I find it really funny. It's really weird. It's because it's. So nev- I think I get the jokes more. It's because no, I, I've been watching like the old classic episodes. Yeah. Like the the really funny ones, which have a nice story and everything. Um, what else do? I- do you remember in the summer, Henry, when we used to watch Batman every morning, and then we used to watch SpongeBob SquarePants? Yep. I, would... I, I still I watch Batman every morning now. This is the 1960s Batman we're talking about here. Everyone. The really cheesy bad one. The one with Adam West. But I. It's great. I watch it every morning. I find SpongeBob SquarePants hilarious. No, oh, it's such a great show. <laughs> it is literally the greatest show ever. Nice. It was really awkward though because your parents kept walking in. And they were like. What what are you watching? <laughs> well, it was your idea to watch it. <laughs> I know that Merrick is a massive fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer because oh, I love the secret new date. So Merrick, who is the main star of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Buffy? No, <laughs> who's it played by? Uh, a teenage witch or something like that. That's Sabrina the teenage oh, witch. Oh right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's in real life played by a teenage witch. <laughs> yeah, I've what? never actually watched an episode to be quite honest. It's Sarah Michelle Geller. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. You should be sorry. Now that's not the only TV show you watch, is it? No, no, I watch a lot of great TV shows. Ben, you missed out Big Brother from your favourite TV show. Oh ever. yeah, don't get me started you on love Big, Big Brother. Brother. <laughs> okay, we won't then. So very. <laughs> I know there's one you're itching to say. Breaking Bad. Best yeah, TV I show agree with that. in the world. And The Mentalist, that's amazing. Both um. are excellent TV shows. If you haven't watched Men- The Mentalist or Breaking Bad, then what are you doing with your life? Cause yeah, agreed. They're good. <coughs> Anything else, Murray? Uh I watch a lot of TV, but they're the best shows I watch. How's Mad Dogs going? You've recently started oh, watching God. that, haven't you? It's, it's not that great, I just randomly watch it, because there's nothing on at the moment. Oh, and House, I watch House. Yeah. Like most of the world. I'm pretty much the same as Merrick, except for the fact that I watch Dexter as well. Dexter is a great show. Oh my god, it's so good. I don't watch any of these weird shows that you watch. You they're not watch weird, Breaking they're really Bad, good. Then. Breaking Bad is amazing, it's and so De- good. You watch Breaking Bad and Dexter, your life is set. Yeah, and then you watch The Good Iron Gang at the end of no, that. No, no, no. You're good to go. Um, and that's really it. So thanks for sending in those questions. If you want to send in more questions, then... Um, send us an email to level one vloggers at gmail dot com. I think you're, yeah, you're probably get more likely to get it answered if you do that. But I think quite. Oh, you can quite a post lot. on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, Facebook page. We got a mighty fifty five fans on there, and of you course, you can post on our Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus. Only joking. We're not hip. We don't have Twitter or Google Plus. <laughs> you can also obviously post them in the comments section below. Yeah, we're on Facebook or Twitter. Ray really Johnson is so funny. La 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 la. You forgot the Google Plus from that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. Alright. My name's Terry. And I just got nipple fucked from listening to the Level 1 vlogcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time, don't you, for the game. What game are we playing? Guess who? It'll be great at this game. Do, do, right, do. So I think we should. No, right. I think we should play Guess Who, but with RuneScape characters. That's going to be impossible, Ben. No, no, I think really. everyone's going to pick Bob the Axe Guy from Lumber. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we should just do normal people. No, because you'll do someone that I don't know. I won't. And I will, okay, I okay. Here's what we do. Know. We'll do someone we know, and then a RuneScape character, okay? We'll start with the RuneScape. Okay. No, because that'll take ages if we do that. No, the RuneScape, seriously, will be over in two seconds. It will not. It will not. 
It will. Right, just everyone think of a RuneScape character. I've got mine. Right, I'll think of one for Merrick. You, Merrick, you think for Ben. The for banker anything. in West Falador Bank. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> got it. Right, I'll, I'll start. Right, so start guessing. Is he a man? Yes. Is he in free to play? I don't believe so. Right. Is he part of a quest? Yes. Is he the wise old man? No. Does he live in Ardoing? No. You mean Ardoin? No, Ardoin. What is it? Ardoin. <laughs> Nobody knows, man. <laughs> um, all drawn. It's not all drawn. No, he's all. I don't know what it is. Uh, um, can you um, trade with this person and get items from him? Nope. Does he live in Yanil? Nope. Does he have an actual purpose in the game? Yeah, he's in a quest. Oh, right. He's Good in part. a quest. Yeah, but he's also there if, if you're not doing the quest. Um, it's, it's, have I done this quest? I don't know. Have I done this quest? Yes. Is it desert? Oh, wait. Is it desert? <laughs> desert treasure? Desert? No. Is it... Is it like a really big quest, like a quest you really should do? No. Can we have a clue? You've been getting clues for the past five minutes. Can we have a proper clue? Yeah, give us a clue. Doesn't involve us asking the questions. quest is a member's quest. Yeah, we, we can't let it got that. Um, he's found near... Oh God, this is going to give it away really easily. Just say it. He's found... Pretty much in Camelot. That didn't hurt me at all. Party Pete! No. Just saying, what do you associate with Camelot? Camelot Castle. Yeah. Bankers in the bank. No, Ben's Ben's warm. Sir Lancelot. No. D d the Sword of the Stone. No. King Arthur. No. I know. Camelot Castle me. Servant. No. The fountain! <laughs> no, it's so close! The, the water in the fountain! <laughs> that's it! That's it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, come on, you're close. Hmm. You're looking up who's in Camelot <laughs> Castle now. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not liking this. It's so easy. I'll give you another clue. Merrick loves this show. There's a show named after this person. What? Merlin! Um, Merlin! Oh, Merlin! Yeah! I don't even know. Merlin was already dun 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 so it's a so, female then. We were established. No. Is it a monster sort of thing? No. You said it was human and it's not male or female. No, I said it wasn't a man. And then Mary oh. said, is it human? I said yes. Yeah, is it a boy? Yes. Ah. Uh, is it that kid with the flyers? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> <laughs> is that all I need to win, yeah? <laughs> you won. Yay! <laughs> Ali the leaflet. Ali. Dropper. Yeah, that, there we go. Great. <sighs> thank you, thank you, everyone. It's one-one. This is to win it. Right, there it go. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah, for me. Is it a man? No. Is it Ben? You'll you go. A boy. No. Is it a woman? No. Is it a monster? Cli yeah. Uh, is it a pet? No, it's not a pet. Is it an animal? No. Is it the kill so, seller? No. Is it a boss? No. Is it human? Whoa! No. Is it the water in the Camelot Castle? <laughs> no. So, did you say yes or no to being a monster? It's not a monster. Is it in a quest? Uh, well, it is. I didn't know it is, but it is. It's not a monster and it's not an animal. Well, it's not like something you can attack and all that. 
Oh, is it like something like a scarecrow? No. What do you mean? Is it something like a scarecrow? Or is it like? Can it move? Yeah, it can move. Does it fly? No. Is it an inanimate object in the real world? Uh, nah, not really. Oh. What? We're doing. Does it? We're doing. Is it something in the real world as well? We're doing inanimate no. objects. If you saw this in the real world, it would be pretty scary. Is it? A <laughs> is it a ghost? No. Hmm. Is it a zombie? Nope. Is it alive? Mm, no, not really. Well, it does move and talk and all that. Is it a robot? No. Is it Party Pete's head? Party Pete? Or the, no. the Pete's head? I literally have no idea. The skeleton Correct. head. Yeah, it's the, it's the skull. Posty Pete. That's the one. Oh my days. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So it is an inanimate object in the real world, right? If you saw Posty Pete in the real world... It would just be a skull with a bag next to it. <laughs> but that's not an object, that's object, sir. <laughs> that's not an object, that's I think, that's no, I murder. Think the skull itself is, is the Pete. Nah. Right, so there we go. Do we have time for a quick real world one? So we, we can probably cut half that of that. That took quite a long time. Yeah, we can probably cut half long. of that. No, I don't think we should do a real world. Oh... <sighs> Well, the end. It was lovely recording with you, it is chaps. Nice. Fine take. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just uh, reiterate that we do have a Facebook page, as stated earlier? Yeah, if you want to go over there, facebook.com/level1vloggers. We post lots of cool stuff, like uh, what did, pictures what? that fans sent in. <gasps> mm. Someone sent us some nice pictures of us in Minecraft. Yeah, they did. Let's, they were very let's nice. give that person a shout out. Josh. Who was it? Josh Elliott. I can remember. Can you? That's how. That's how oh, it was Josh Elliott. Personal I am with the fans. <laughs> the question is, Josh Elliott, how did you get the town to disappear on the on the right hand side? Yeah. If you don't understand what, what that town? means, check out our Facebook page. <gasps> also, we actually have this iTunes. We have. <laughs> we have this. Did you just swear? Ben, we, we, I want to hear a beep. <laughs> we also have this podcast on iTunes, um, and we, wanna, we actually got a review there. the other day. Which is, uh, I wouldn't say the other day. <laughs> the other about three months. The other ago. three months ago. <laughs> loads of iTunes. Loads is of it iTunes. still just the one? Just talk, talk over me for a bit. Oh, so Merrick, what lovely weather we're having today? Yeah, so rainy and cold. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the extent of it. Yeah, so we uh we got a uh, review the other day from a certain I can't make out its name, but it begins with a Nah. Everybody. Uh, this podcast is one of the best <laughs> I've ever seen. Literally Whoa. seen every scene I think. Seen. And I have listened I have listened to a lot of podcasts. Seriously, good job. Exclamation point. Thank you, everybody. It's exclamation mark. Five stars. Exclamation mark. Wow. I'd, I'd like to personally thank that person. <laughs> he sounds like a sexy beast. <laughs> and on that, that sentence note, doesn't make any sense, by the way. No, it doesn't. It was so bad. It makes no sense. <laughs> on that note, after a long... No, oh, no, you know what it was, don't you? What? Um, I'm assuming that person made it try... <laughs> Tried to make it sound as if they were Asian or something, <laughs> so that it didn't sound like them. <laughs> and on, Makes sense. on that final racist remark, <laughs> which has seemed to be the theme throughout this podcast, <laughs> I am Ben, and and yeah, we've established that at the very start. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> from my rap, I am Ben. This is Henry Wood. No, it's not. This is Merrick Gig. Could be. <laughs> And we would like to wish you goodbye. And a Merry Christmas. And a Happy Easter. And a Happy Saturday. Is it Saturday today? Yay! Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Slow-mo vomit coming towards your face. <laughs>